To check that the stimulating pod is functioning correctly, switch your nerve monitor on. Followed by this, connect your stimulating pod to the front panel of the nerve monitor. The stimulating pod allows you to connect two probes. As you can see, there is probe 1 and probe 2. To test the stimulating pod, take a piece of wire or a small pair of scissors and short out the blue and white on probe 1. Once the short has been made between the blue and the white on probe 1, the current confirm light will now activate. This indicates that your stimulating pod is functioning correctly. Repeat this action on probe 2. If no light appears on the current confirm, this means there might be an issue with your stimulating pod. To ensure that the monitor is not at fault, please put a link wire between pins top right and bottom right. To do a function test on the nerve monitor, switch the nerve monitor on on the rear panel. Followed by this, switch on the two channels 1 and 2. As you can see, no bar graphs have lit up. Connect up the preamplifier pod to the rear panel of the nerve monitor. Following this, switch on the two channels. After 20 seconds, the electrode warning beeper should alarm and light here. The electrode warning beeper should activate every so many seconds. This indicates to the surgeon that potentially the electrode needle has come out of the patient. To check the preamplifier pod, ensure that all pins are intact in the red, green and black inputs. The preamplifier pod allows you to connect two channels to the two channel nerve monitor. To check that the preamplifier pod is working correctly, switch the monitor on and put a piece of wire in channel 1 and channel 2 as shown. To ensure that the preamplifier pod is working, place a piece of wire into the red input of channel 1 on the preamplifier pod. Following this, switch the nerve monitor two channels on. If the preamplifier pod is working correctly, all segments of the bar graph on channel 1 will light up. Repeat this test for channel 1 black and channel 2 red and black. The green ports do not need to be tested. The only functional test for the mute sensor is to directly connect the mute sensor to the electric tree cable. If the electric tree cable does not mute out when activated, you know that there is an issue with your mute sensor.